reading rate. So here's the thing with reading rate. This is the moving target. This is the one that is constantly changing from grade to grade. And, and so what that means is if a, a student is reading on a second grade level and they're reading, let's say, uh, at 90 words per minute on, in second grade, in third grade, if they're still reading at 90 words per minute, which was great for second grade, it means that they're, they're behind. So this is constantly um, increasing as the grades go. So when we say fluency, the ability to read with the proper speed, accuracy, and expression, well, that first one, speed, is grade relative, meaning it's, it's relative to where the student is in, the, in their grade and in the school year, meaning um, a student in the beginning of third grade uh, might read uh, have a different reading rate than a student at the end of third grade or at the middle of third grade. So this is always going to be um, um, looking at the students, um, where they are in that specific grade, and it's going to be a relative score. It's going to change as the student goes through the grades, okay? Ideally, we want that student, wherever they are, to fall into this range. And if they fall below the range, so you have a, a third grade student, by the way, this is by no means the definitive final uh, reading rates for the grades. This is just... Uh, every, every state uh, might tweak this a little bit, but, but you're looking at a, a, a range here. But the idea is that if a student's falling behind here, right, then we want to find ways to help them imp improve their reading rate. Maybe they need to clarify, you know, uh, something in phonics, or maybe they need some help with uh, uh, using context clues. Maybe you need to help build their high frequency sight word vocabulary. They may be getting the words right, but they may not have that automaticity with all the words that they should have automaticity with. So there's a whole bunch of ways in which we can build reading rate. Okay, so, so we want to think about those ways if we ever see a student behind uh, in the grade level reading rate. And at the same time, if we ever see a student ahead of the grade reading rate, that's okay, that's great. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have reading fluency. I mean, they're reading words at a very high rate, but it's very possible that they're reading words at a very high rate and making a lot of mistakes. So, so fast doesn't always mean good <laughs> when it comes to fluency. We want to find that balance between accuracy and reading rate, speed and accuracy. Going too fast, but making lots of mistakes is not good. And going too slow, but getting everything right isn't good either. So we've got to find the balance between these two with speed and accuracy, okay? All right, let's go to the, the, uh, the next component of fluency.